going on again, folks? It is Thoughtcast, Ball Fight here again, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about something so freaking awesome that just got announced yesterday. I'm telling you, this is one of the most exciting things we've seen in the 164 diecast, probably since the metal chassis 164s have returned. So, for the longest uh, period of time here, everybody has been wanting Kyle Busch Xfinity diecast. Finally, they are making them, and I'm so freaking excited. Th this is so cool, man. His paint schemes in the Xfinity series are second to none, and every time we get a 164 offered, it gets canceled, or they just don't offer it, right? So, this is so cool. Lionel Racing, they're going to be making a five-car set of the all the races Kyle Busch won in 2021. He made five starts. He won every single race he started in. Incredible. So, we're going to be talking about that and why this is such a cool freaking piece here, man. I am so excited for it because I love those Toyota Supers. Think about it. We've only had like three Toyota Super releases to date. That's going back to 2019. Only three of them. So to get five unique and as of right now, exclusive paint schemes in one set, this is going to be a hot collector's item, bro. So the first one here, this is win number 98. It came at Coda. So imagine this. If you're, you know, you're, you're, you're Xfinity cat, you love the die cast, you love the Supras, you can get Kyle Busch's Coda race win die cast. The, the Skittles, uh, what is it, Skittles, yeah, Skittles Gummies die cast. Freaking awesome, man. These are all raced versions, too, so they're probably not going to have a lot of damage. Maybe a little uh, tire marks here and there and some dirt and grime. I'm hoping the paint schemes, though, are still pretty clean, though. That way we could use it, obviously, for die cast, stop motions, and whatnot. But you get the Coda Race win. They're already making the Chase Elliott one, so you get the Cup Series and the Xfinity uh, die cast, the Race Win 164s, from the inaugural Coda NASCAR weekend. Uh, win number 99 came at one of my favorite tracks, Texas Motor Speedway, when Kyle Busch won in the Twix car. They're making a Twix car freaking die kiss. This is so cool. So he won at Texas Motor Speedway in that paint scheme. They are making that. As of right now, these are all exclusive. All exclusive to this one five car set. And why this is such an important thing for the die cast market. Everybody has been one of these paint schemes, man. And the fact that they're actually making it is just this thing is going to try up so badly <laughs> after it's released, man. I'm telling you, I already got mine pre-ordered, right? All my friends got theirs pre-ordered. So if you haven't already, make sure to go pre-order this five-car set. You can get free shipping, obviously. It's a 20, you know, it's for each car, it's $10 each, right? So you get free shipping if you use the code diecast buffet over there at Circle B Diecast and Plan B Sales. Let's go to car number three of this set here. Win number 100, this is this is huge, right? Win number 100, it's a Nashville race to win car, and it's his Cup Series paint scheme on an Xfinity diecast, the M&M's car. Could you imagine having the 2021 Kyle Busch Cup car and having the Xfinity car? To be able to compare both of those, two different molds, same paint scheme, I love it, man. This, I'm, I'm telling you, man, people are going to open these cases up. They're going to buy these cases. They're going to be reselling each one of these cars for ridiculous amounts if this thing is not overproduced. That's what I'm saying. You better get it while you can because each car in this set is going to be $10. People are going to be reselling this crap ridiculously high. So as of right now, these are all exclusive. This is why everyone is so excited about this five-car set. And in the fourth car, in this set goes all the way up to my favorite road course, Road America. Here in the, what is it, the M&M's ice cream bar, whatever it is, it's got the ice cream bar stuff on it. When he won that Xfinity race up there for his hundred and first first win. Super awesome paint scheme. Could you just imagine having these cars like in your die cast stop motion or just having it in your collection case, you know, Kyle Busch race winning Toyota Supers, man. It's got everything. When's the last time we had a Kyle Busch Xfinity diecast produced? When's the last time we had a Supra diecast produced? And when is the last time we've seen just a cup driver race win diecast in the Xfinity series get produced? This thing checks all the boxes, and that's why this is like everybody is so freaking excited for it. And the final car here in this set and arguably could be the best looking one. This paint scheme is so freaking cool, and a lot of people are going to remember it because he kind of uh, bumped his teammate out of the way to win the race, but he dominated that day. 
beautiful, beautiful, kind of a minty green, uh, the extra gum brand car. It's just such a beautiful paint scheme, man. And I, I was like, oh, they need to make this in 164. And then I seen um, that only making the 124. I was like, oh, man, this would have been so cool. And then, bam, out of the woodwork, they announced they're making this five car, 164 scale exclusive set. Now, do I think we could see one of these cars made in Authentics? I would not be surprised if the Nashville win because it's the 100th. They can market that to the cows come home, but I'm telling you, man, it, for the whole set, though, it's like $49.99. But you got to think about it. It's five cars, each car $10 a piece. That's the same price most people pay for these 164s anyways. But what's going to happen with this, and this is why I'm like, yo, you better get yours while you can, is because people are going to buy these, these sets. If the, each one of these cars come in an individual 164 Gold Series box, they're going to be selling these things individually for scalpers' prices. So that's what I'm saying, man. You get it while you can. I already got mine pre-ordered. I cannot freaking wait. The, the fans have been wanting more Super Diecast as it is, and the fact that we're getting Kyle Busch raced winning ones, and we're not talking about uh, just a generic paint scheme. We're talking about some of the most bright, beautiful paint schemes we've seen all year long and they're all going to get produced in one set this is a game changer for the die cast uh market in my opinion two big game changers we have this year the metal chassis 164 die cast giving us three different you know variations authentics gold series and then the metal chassis or elite slash premium whatever you want to call them freaking 164 so this is so freaking exciting man I, if you're a Kyle Busch fan, what are you doing not getting this car? We've seen similar sets in the past, like with the Dale Jr. 2008 sets. They made one that had like all his uh, uh, nationwide paint schemes and his Cup Series paint schemes or whatnot. That was back in 08 when they made 10 times the amount of die casts than they do nowadays. With the smaller and smaller production quantity of every single car here in 2021 and 2020, you, these things, I don't think it's going to get produced like insanely now they're probably gonna have some exclusive to probably his own website and blah 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 uh, so they're gonna probably produce enough but I truly think down the road people are gonna be reselling these things for a ridiculous amount because let's say you're a collector that just wants the 100th win out of this let's say you just want the M&M's uh, Xfinity Supra well guess what you're gonna have people who are gonna buy the set they're gonna get them at 10 bucks a pop and then they're gonna resell them for probably 20 or 25 so that's why I'm saying buyer beware get it while you can now the release date for this is not determined yet, but my best uh, guess, it's going to be a, probably a full year out, unfortunately. Like I said, you know, everything's pretty, pretty, you know, crazy with the logistics. I mean, they just announced Wave 5 earlier today, uh, so everything's kind of crazy right now. Uh, but from what I see, it's going to be summer 2022, so it's a little bit of a, a ways out, but like I said... We've never seen something like this. I mean, just five exclusive diecasts, beautiful paint schemes, all race to win cars. I mean, th this is so freaking cool. I, I, I can't stress it enough. As soon as I seen it yesterday, I read it, and I was like, they're making this? I was going nuts, because I heard a rumor, right? I heard a rumor from one of my friends. I was like, man, that would be so cool if they did it. And sure enough, they did it. So a little birdie kind of kind of told me a little early on, but... I was really hoping it was true, and sure enough, it is. So this is something the fans have been wanting, and they're actually giving it to us. So, man, go pre-order it. Like I said, free shipping code down below. Get what you can, man. Get it, because when this thing releases, and they sell out of them, and years down the road, each one of these cars costs $20 on eBay, you're going to be really regretting you didn't get it. That's why I say pre-order when you can. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching the video. I wanted to do a video discussing this because I don't think we realize how freaking important this five car set is because it opens up the, the kind of the Pandora's box. Can we see some more stuff like this? They are making a Hendrick Motorsports, um, what is it, four car set from Dover when they finished one, two, three, four. And of course, Alex Bowman uh, got that W that day, but uh, those are not race twin cars. So those are pretty much the same shells and same paint schemes you're going to see, uh, of course, in your Authentics Gold Series and and of course, uh, metal chassis 164. So, and uh, I, I'm just, I'm freaking hyped, man. I'm freaking hyped. I can't wait. Whew. Yeah, they took a chill pill. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you don't mind. And uh, of course, you know, give the video a big thumbs up helps out a lot with the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Which one of these cars is your favorite? You know, I, I can't pick. I cannot pick. Probably my favorite one, though, is probably the M&M's uh, Nashville paint scheme. Because 
It reminds me way back in yesteryear when Jimmy Johnson would maybe run a, a one-off bush race or a one-off Craftsman truck race or something, and they would have the Lowe's cobalt paint scheme that he would have on his cup car, and they would wrap it on a Chevrolet Silverado or a, a Chevrolet Monte Carlo or whatever they were running that weekend, you know. It really reminds me of that, and to my knowledge, those cars never got produced uh, in the late 2000s, so this is something extremely unique. People have been wanting these Kyle Busch paint schemes to the cows come home. Well, guess what? They're finally doing it, fellas. I'm excited. Have a great one, folks. Thank you, Spuffy. Signing off.